for everyone this is the waiting game by bones and this is the lesson that's been you know uh, troubling me but I'm here after all and uh, I know uh, I've been gone for a while but I have trouble with you know everyday life and stuff like everybody does but you know sometimes I get stuck and music becomes a chore more than a you know a good emotion there and everything so I needed a bit a bit of a break and that's all so anyway thank you for waiting and still being with me we're now here making the new lesson <coughs> so first of all it's a standard tuning let me tell you that a standard tuning <clears throat> and most of the song is uh, you know similar it's in three parts at least that's what I came up with I think it's in three parts it's um, three sections more likely three chords actually it's uh, this one I'm not sure how it's called I'm sorry uh, it's minor some kind of I think it's a minor chord uh, looks like a E minor but you put your ring finger on the third fret and your pinky on the third fret of the G and the E strings. See, at least this is the chord. Like if you if you think uh, the picking pattern is too complicated for you, you can just play the chords. You just go to a D major and then you go to a C. Those are the three main chords that go around. And <clears throat> now for the picking pattern, like you see, it's on three sections with three chords. Putting your point finger on the second fret of the A and your middle finger on the second fret of the G. Uh, excuse me, the D, I'm sorry. And you put your pinky on the third fret of the high E. And you stay here with the ring finger next to the pinky, waiting for pressing on the third fret of the B but for now we're keeping it open because we're gonna need it open so <clears throat> first of all we play the A on the second fret and the D on the second fret together together now um, that's what I came up with this is the best uh, version I got and the best you know the best thing I came up with the closest I guess for me <clears throat> so I hope you enjoy them two together then you play B open like I told you we're gonna need it and then you play the high E on the third fret together with the open G so And after this, you play again once the second fret of the A. So, then you put your ring finger now when you need it on the third fret of the B, and you play it. And after this, you play open G. After this, you play the A on the second fret, and then after this, again, open G. 
So. So, you can see. This is the first section, so... Now, it's hard to beat spilled with this, but once you get it, the hang of it, it's easy. Uh, it's still hard for me though, <laughs> you know. Uh, after this, you keep that ring finger here on the second fret, and you just put your fingers for a G major, like ring finger on the 3rd fret of the B and point finger on the 2nd fret of the G and your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the E the high E and you play together again the A and the G but opened uh, excuse me then you play uh, you leave a little space here so it's like playing but you miss this first note, so... What I mean is, uh, you can hear in the actual beginning... Uh, excuse me... You see the little space? So basically what I'm doing here, it's them two together, the A and the D, the little space. After this, you play high E on the 2nd fret, G on the 2nd fret, B on the 3rd fret, and then you release your point finger from the G and you play G open, D open, back to G open. It's like before, but we're using the D instead of the A, so... A bit faster. And after this, we still keep our ring finger on the 3rd fret of the B and we put our middle finger on the 3rd fret of the A and our point finger on the 2nd fret of the D going for some kind of a C chord you know but it's a bit different so you can see right here and we play uh, the A on the 3rd fret uh, followed by open G again to an open high E so and after this back to the open G so and you play the B after this on the third fret so come on After this you play the open G again, followed by the A on the 3rd fret, and finishing with the high E for now. So, what we got by now... Uh, excuse me... So,
then we play again the A on the third fret, followed by high E open together with the open G. So from the beginning. After this, you play A on the third fret, G open again, B on the third fret, G open, A on the third fret, G open. This is how you finish the section. So, from the beginning. you're gonna get it better if you play it faster. So basically this G and high E together is played a little bit faster or cut a bit faster so you see? This is the rhythm that goes on, so... And you go in the beginning. Ah, come on. Come on. So the three sections slowly and after this a bit faster so you can so you can catch up. Ah come on, I said slowly. <laughs> again a bit faster missing a bit of notes but <clears throat> a bit some notes <laughs> sorry pardon my bad English sometimes uh, I'm missing some notes but uh, I explained them and there is a tablature down in the description and you can check it out and thank you for watching thank you for supporting me so much <sighs> I will make all the lessons I've got I have them all, I've written them down, I just need time and dedication. Thank you for being with me, see you next time, you're awesome guys.